typing is an essential after dictation. Try exam oriented typing tests, check accuracy, number of errors, gain speed and more. Complete the typing test in a given time. Read dictation materials. Subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. It has been observed by planners and demographers that beyond an optimum level of urbanization, the rate of depletion of the surrounding hinterland becomes faster, eventually causing decay in urbanization and urban poverty. Hence, to sustain urbanization, it is required that it must be kept within the optimal limits. It has been observed that unequal distribution of population results in unequal distribution of resources are first concentrating in the urban clusters. The urbanization in these countries has been faster than the rate of industrialization. It is more due to rising concentration of population. This has led to urban poverty, social tension and crime. Unfortunately, when industrialized countries are giving up the large city norms, the developing countries are still continuing on the same trend. By 1990, 18 out of 24 largest cities of the world were in these countries. During the International Conference on Population and Development in 1994, it was apparent that there was greater realization among the developing countries about the interrelationship between the population and development. Low levels of technological progress coupled with rapid population growth was placing immense strain on the social and economic programs. There was unanimity on the issue that population growth must be balanced with sustainable socio-economic development and the regenerative capacity of the natural environment. It must be realized that the present generation of man is the trustee of entire biodiversity. We are also the custodians of the interests of future generations. Our teeming numbers can grow only at the cost of delicate balance in nature. A further increase in our numbers will encroach greatly upon the chances of our future generations. It is observed that persistent widespread poverty and serious social Inequalities do influence population growth and its distribution. Therefore, it is thought that the population should be integrated as a major issue in the development strategies and planning at all levels. All our calculations and policy initiatives will go haywire if we fail to integrate population issue in the broader development strategy. There is now a distinctive rise in social awareness on population issues. Majority of countries have formulated their respective comprehensive population policies and population has become an issue high on their national agenda. In our campaign 
against the numbers our focus has been to control the birth rate and linkage to small family we emphasize linkage between small family norm and greater opportunities for human resources development beyond economic logic and policy the problem has its sociological dimensions as well we will have to focus on the major sociological factors that can influence the population issue social attitudes towards women is one such factor traditionally women are deprived of a role in decision making at all levels from family to the highest policy making fora this attitude has to be changed the need to give women decision making rights were recognized by the icpd in 1994 if you have liked the video hit the like button and consider subscribing